Hello guys, welcome to Jim and Shave. I've uh, got a mail call, received a mail call. I uh, hadn't ordered anything. It's uh, had a gift sent from, uh, from a viewer. Now, uh, first I knew about it. Well, he did email me some time back, but it was a while back. Obviously in the States, it takes a bit of time for stuff to come across the pond. Well, it does when it comes to Britain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, first I knew I got this notification from the uh, local post office. I had to uh, go in and pay £31 and something uh, UK Customs and Tax Handling and uh, I collected the parcel this morning because uh, I just recently returned home from my last overseas trip and the parcel came from I've got your name here on the label Mark Davis over in Palm Bay, Florida, United States so thank you very much indeed Mark this is greatly appreciated so he did email, email me something he'd like to uh, send me a razor, but not only did he send me a razor, and not only was this razor a razor that I had my eye on uh, very recently, but uh, also he sent me some blades to go with the said razor, and I also intended to buy those blades myself, so Mark, spot on, spot on mate. Yeah, uh, the razor, as you know, uh, I recently bought the uh, Feather Clone, uh, which is called Clone, and the genuine artist club. I also had my eye on this baby, this feather. See it? This is the uh, feather, as the case it came in. This is the feather SO, the feather SO. Doesn't have the same, uh, the mounting is a little different, sent to my previous feather, the uh, feather artist club. Nice colour, I love that colour. It's got different scales. Than the original my own one so i did have my eye on this one more expensive than the one i already own yep so spot on there mark well chuffed made up with it thanks very much indeed greatly appreciated don't jeans whoops put some more lies on the subject i've loaded the blade just see the uh, shimmer of the edge there and the blade is the feather professional now i have the uh Professional Super here, Feather Professional Super. Now, uh, the, the original blades I've got, the Super, they are a quarter of a millimetre wider than the Professional. So, I had always intended on getting this size. Anyway, it's in, and I'm going to use one. Spot on. Now, also, to go with that uh, Feather razor, sent me this lovely brand new leather pouch. Oh, pure leather, gorgeous, brand new, unused, and this is absolutely spot on. For the uh, straight razors, chevettes, excellent for travel, and as you know, I travel a lot, so yeah, that's going to come in very useful market, very useful indeed. Also sent me this nice uh, razor stand and brush stand. That's going to be in permanent position in my own den again. Thank you very much. I actually didn't own one of these, believe it or not. I've not owned one, so yeah, thank you. Uh, well, this is nice. Shave ball from Shave Nation. Here we go. There's a the ball. Got this nice grippy base on here. Really good. Good ball. Very nice indeed. So, chuffed a bit of that. Thank you very much. And who's that here? Yep. The case, the feather, the blades, the stand, and then the, and the ball. So what I'm going to do? Oh, I'm going to keep in the blue theme today. To the colour of the ball, the ball. That came to mind. So I'm going to be using Rex 1955. Together with the matching aftershave splash. As we're on the blue theme, I'm going to be the Yaki Ocean Brush. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go away, love it up, and see you soon. Hello guys, so as you can see I'm, I'm back and yeah, magically it's a totally different setting, in fact I'm about, uh, from the intro to this uh, video I'm probably ooh, about 13, 1400 miles away, had a bit of a, a technical cock up on the last, on the uh, making of that video and well, basically trash canned, everything was binned, nothing worked out, so here I am, I'm now in Austria, uh, in the Alps, in a place called Bad Galstenheim or something like that, but 
about an hour from uh, hour and a half from uh, Salzburg. So yeah, so uh, weather's nice, nice and warm outside, and yeah, very pleasant, very very pleasant place to be, very lush, very green. So let's get this shade on. Just checking my camera settings here because again, I went to precarious uh, setup. Okay, so uh, I'm still using the uh, 1955 soap. I'm not using the uh, Shave Nation bowl because it's ceramic and I'd be heartbroken if it was damaged. So I'm using my Chinese soup bowl. Oh man, that 1955 Rex. It's a bit like walking into a florist shop. You know, if you walk into a florist shop, it doesn't smell puffy or pansy or poncy or anything. It's not the smell of all the flowers together. It's, uh, that, that, this is what this reminds me of. Really nice. A different brush, it's a blue brush. But this is the uh, Alpha Shave Works, UK Wet Shaving Society Limited Edition brush, made by Steve Tinter. And there's the lava we have. Okay, so uh, let's wet the whiskers. Put a, put a few whiskers on here, you can probably see. Sorry about the noise. Yeah, got about 48 hours rope on there, I think. I don't know if you can make it out there. Yeah. This water's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Water's going to be tapered. But it's not. Yeah, so how are we all doing? Okay. I think they're going to wear Rex with the nice. Rex is going to do well with this uh, series, I, I, I believe. Got the uh, 66, sweat for 77. Very nice, very nice. And it's glooping everywhere. Work that brush, lift them whiskers. Yes, yeah, so the blade now on its uh, second use. I'm wondering if that's not a wee bit too dry. We shall see. We shall see. That's just glued into the uh, toilet here. One of those Austrian toilets where the holes at the wrong end, so you've got an inspection shelf. They're all way off the mirror here, fellas. I should have that comfortable shaving with there. Uh, oh, look at that already. I should have that comfortable shaving with there. Uh, straight some video because I am a lot, a lot most of the time I am uh, quite a distance from the mirror As you know, one of these babies, slightest uh, misplace, like that, and chop. And that is the main danger point. Shaving with a straight is the actual place in the first place, first place of the blade. What a dummy. First stroke, first place, I'm gonna get that. For instruction, purpose of instruction only, yeah, you understand? Just to show you what happens if you place that blade wrong. <laughs> Wow. 
What a first class chum. What a chum. Never mind. We shall continue. We shall continue. Need to get the temperature down on that water. I don't like it that long. See these blades, these feather blades, so sharp you can, uh, you don't feel yourself nick. You don't even feel yourself place the blade, to be honest. And I'm just rolling around the chin there. Now one for my favourite strokes. Another straight or the chevet. Up. Upwards on the neck. I love that. Beauty of this feather is you don't have to worry about getting it wet. Unlike a regular straight razor. I apologise for all the uh, Running water here. We're just going to have to persevere. We've got to. Uh, can't believe that. What do you mean you can? Yeah. Let's hope that's it, eh? Let's hope that's the only neck. Anyway, apart from that, good first pass. Oh, this floral scent. And we're going to get some pink lather. Oh, I'm such, such a dozy get. Only I could do that. First place. And there's the pink lather. Oh, my God, nicely. More fingers and thumbs here. Fingers and thumbs. See, <laughs> shave all we cut. And the insane old that will stop bleeding. Not going to work, Jim. Not going to work. Yeah, so it's actually my second housing with this razor. Oh, that looks worse than that is, it really does. <laughs> that looks terrible, never mind. We shall continue. I've got blood all over my fingers. Now you just tuned in. I'm not an expert with a straight. <laughs> so round here I can feel bits where uh, as I age the skin gets craggy. So you have some uh, pay particular attention. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. 
That looks horrific the way that's spread around over there, doesn't it? I'm going to have to wipe that off. Bring over straight. You get a bit of blood and uh, it just spreads everywhere. Look like I'm a house of horrors or something. But I think my speed is uh, improving. Right, quick rinse. Slickness, very, very good. As you can see, I'm not reaching for any uh, stick dicks because I don't really think I've got any with me. Good night. Here one said he appreciates the fact that even when I do uh, cut, I still upload the video. Now the sad thing is, and this is the God's honest truth, the very first time I used this razor and I videoed it, even though it went tits up, technically speaking, I didn't cut myself. Honestly, honestly, I didn't, believe me. I know you won't. This is true though. Okay. Here we go. Oh, against the game. Struggling against the moustache. I'm not going to do it. Not going against the grain on the moustache. I felt uh, too much resistance. And there. Uh, That was a wee bit better on this side. Yeah, so I was in the city of Salzburg yesterday. Day off today. So I've been out getting my uh, 10,000 paces in. 10,000 steps. Uh, look. Looks like a mean vampire there. Well, apart from that, even apart from that, it's a disaster. Not in terms of general shape, it's not. And I'm enjoying using this razor. Thank you, Mark. Mark Davis. Very, very generous gifts indeed. Perhaps somebody could send me a. Uh, a supersonic, not supersonic, or a, a super efficient styptic. <laughs> you see that? That was just placing the blade, very first placement, chop. And that's how sharp these fellow blades are. Excellent blades. Well, I think. In future, I'm going to use the feather blade at least 
five times, we've got a video of it. <laughs> Look at that, it's streaming, there's no need for it. See most guys, it would have stopped me now, not with me. I'll never need war for him. Never ever. There we go. And yes, I'm uploading it, blood and all. Because A little bit of suede under there, a little bit of Velcro, not a massive amount. Always get a little there. Everywhere else, BBS, BBS baby. It's taken a good amount of rinsing off. The soap, the slipness. That's all there's a little bloody placement there. Now, uh, oops. <laughs> What's the cleaning on to say? The chain blade. Probably not used to guys cutting themselves shaving. Okay, and of course, the matching splash. Got to give this stuff a good shake. It's one of those has to mix. It's got like an oily solution inside. Oh look, it's forming into a belly. You know what I'm going to do with this, don't you? Oh, that's a, that's a decent sting. In fact, put a bit more on. What a splash. What a splash. Right. Now the best technical way, or the best technique for stopping a cut like that, they won't stop. And it is a cut, guys, it's not a it's not, uh, it's not a weeper, it is a cut. That's the best way to stop it. But I must remember to take it off before I go down for dinner. Okay guys, from uh, here, in Austria, up in the Alps. Stay safe, thanks for watching. Thanks for the recent subscriptions, there's been a few. I don't know why, <laughs> more like a comedy show this man. Okay guys, you all stay safe now. I'll catch you further down the line. Bye bye guys.